defense systems and space. These are the two prominent fields where almost every powerful nation has been trying to make its mark. The US Air Force launched a Space Force, the first of its kind in contemporary history in 2019. Russia is known for Roscosmos, its space agency. Just a few days back, China launched a new reusable spacecraft. India also has plans to launch a manned space mission named Gaganyaan next year. All these achievements depend on one simple acronym, STEM – Science, Technology, Engineering, Mathematics. As we mark the run-up of the 75th year of our independence, we bring to you the stories of two women who broke the glass ceiling in the field of STEM. Not only did they rise to the occasion and created history, but they also left a legacy in fields traditionally said to be male-dominated. This is not just a brief story about them. This is also our tribute and gratitude to them for being such inspiring role models. But before we embark on this thrilling journey, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our portal. Dr. Tessie Thomas She is famously known as the Missile Woman of India. She is a scientist and the current Director General of Aerosystems at DRDO, whose contributions are perhaps unmatched when it comes to protecting the territorial sovereignty of India. She served as the project director of Agni-4 and Agni-5 missile system, making her the first woman in our country to lead missile teams and projects. She effortlessly filled the shoes of Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam Azad, the man synonymous with India's missile program. She began her career as a young subsystem designer at DRDO's Hyderabad Laboratory and rose through the ranks to become the mission director of the Agni series of missile systems. She has been conferred with at least eight honorary doctorates in science. It was only her credentials that got the attention of Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam and he himself asked her to join a team of 50 scientists working on inertial navigation. When she joined DRDO and missile projects, there were only three or four women in the entire organization. This was the beginning of her illustrious career. The turning point in her career was designing the guidance scheme for the long-range missile systems used in all Agni missiles. Since missiles have to go beyond the atmosphere and re-enter again at very high speeds, generating heat beyond 3000 degrees Celsius, a sophisticated technology is required for this. When India started working on this, no country was ready to provide the technology. She spearheaded the team to develop an energy management guidance scheme, the first time in the country, for a long-range system. Her knowledge and expertise in the solid propellant systems was crucial to the construction of the missile's re-entry mechanism. She oversaw the entire system needed for this and made us self-reliant in this technology. She has numerous awards to her credit and was also the recipient of 2022 APJ Award last month. Today, the Agni series of ICBMs, that is, Intercontinental Ballistic Missiles, are the mainstay of India's defence system and the bedrock of India's strategic arsenal and firepower. Today, she oversees all aeronautical systems, including manned and unmanned aerial vehicles, lighter-than-air systems, aero engines, early warning airborne systems and subsonic cruise missiles. Ritu Karidhal In the circles of ISRO, she is affectionately and proudly referred to as the Rocket Woman of India. When India became the first nation to successfully land on Mars in her very first interplanetary mission in 2013, she was the woman behind that huge success. MOM, that is Mars Orbiter Mission, was a mission of extreme complications. No other nation has been able to put their orbiters on Mars in their first attempt. But India, ISRO and Ritu Karidhal did that. And that too within a very short span and on a very shoestring budget. She was the project manager and deputy operations director for MOM. She was the creator of the autonomous brain of the Mars orbiter that could automatically learn how to fix errors and malfunctions. She was also the mission director of Chandrayaan-2, India's mission for landing on the moon. 
This mission was aimed to provide technology that will eventually help in the hunt to find another habitable planet. Chandrayaan 2 was set to be a major challenge since it attempted to explore the untested area of the lunar South Pole region. During MOM, she led the team that created a software system designed to make decisions on its own. Together with a team of scientists as well as electrical and mechanical engineers, an independent system was created with a 10-month record. She has been the recipient of many awards including Young Scientist Award in 2007, ISRO Team Award for MOM in 2015, ASI Team Award, Women Achievers in Aerospace in 2017, etc. Her journey from a fascination with stars and space to leading India to land successfully on another planet is really inspiring. She has become a role model for a lot of girls who want to follow the footsteps of torchbearers like Kalpana Chawla. We hope you like this video about the inspiring achievements of these two women scientists, their hard work and dedication in taking our nation to achieve what seems impossible are really awe-inspiring. Do like, share and subscribe to One India for more such interesting updates. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.